Hello and welcome to Food and Barbecue. So I'm part of this huge mac and cheese collab that's going on today, November 19th. Um, we are like 17 channels, I think. I've got a link to them all down below uh, where you can check them. Uh, I was initiated into this by uh, Kent over at Daddy Dutch Barbecue. But I encourage you to go visit them all. They all need some new friends. Anyway, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using, of course, some elbow macaroni. Um, I boil them al dente. Then I'm going to use a Swedish hard cheese called Östergör. I'm going to use a piece of blue cheese, some sharp cheddar, some smoked gouda, and I'm going to throw some mozzarella balls in there. I'm also going to use half a liter, that's about two cups of half and half, mixed with three eggs. To season this, I'm going to be using Tango Spice Cajun Rub and Tango Spice Midnight Espresso. The reason for the Midnight Espresso is that I'm uh, gonna have we're gonna have um, tri-tip with the mac and cheese, and that's seasoned with the Midnight Espresso. Anyway, I'm just gonna grate this. You can tag along. Okay, I'm gonna weigh this so that we know how much it is, and I'll be back in a second. The bacon is coming along nicely here. That's gonna be a very nice base for this, I would think. Okay, so what I did was I took one liter, that's four cups of unboiled elbow macaroni, and I just boil them al dente. And then to this, we're gonna add three eggs and then we're gonna add the, the half and half and to this we're gonna add one tablespoon of midnight espresso and one teaspoon of Cajun rub gonna mix this together this is gonna go into the skillet and the macaroni is already in there okay so these macaroni they are half warm I would say but to this we're gonna add the cheese I know how much it is and I'm gonna put it in the description box this is a good proportion I would say it's like 50 50 and then we need the mozzarella to go in there as well they're gonna be like cheesy chunks in here, here we go time to mix this up there we go I think that's quite nicely mixed Let's get back to the stove. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna cook it right here. I think that will be fine. And just because I think it's easier, I'm gonna take the bacon, add that to the macaroni, mix it, and then put it all back. Okay, time to have it all back in here. It's looking good, something like so. And then to this, we're gonna add the egg and cream mixture. I don't know if you came here looking for a healthy recipe. Bye. And then I've got some panko breadcrumbs here. Just cover this. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put a lid onto this and I'll bring you back in, well, I don't know, about an hour. There we go, all done. It did turn dark outside, so I had to bring this inside as I did with the tritip a little bit ago. Okay, so we have the going that way. So we're just gonna slice this up thinly. I mean, the mac and cheese is a meal in itself, so don't really need much more than a few thin slices of this. It's very juicy. It's got a nice smoke ring. I used a bit of oak wood for the whole cook. So the mac and cheese is oak wood smoked as well. Anyway, I'm gonna build me a little bit. Okay, so we need a few slices of the tritip. Maybe one more, something like so. And then we need a 
How about a small helping of mac and cheese? And there we go. And since this is Sweden, we need some lingonberry jam. So these are raw stirred lingonberries, meaning they're not boiled, they're just sugar and berries mixed. Anyway, I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna have a try. There we go, some uh, mac and cheese for the collab. It's really good. I'm gonna try a little bit with the lingonberries as well. Mm, I like that. And the aforementioned, not shown, tri-tip. Mm. Thank you for including me in this collab, Kent. It's been a lot of fun. Check all the others. Thank you for watching. Bye.